Here's why you should make repairs and cosmetic updates to your home before selling. I have this discussion with sellers all the time. Why would I pick new carpets out? What if the buyers don't like them? Why would I repaint walls? What if the buyer doesn't like the color that we pick? So imagine your home in pristine, perfect, move-in ready condition is worth $260,000. Now let's say in order to get it to perfect, pristine, move-in ready condition, it would take five grand. This doesn't really mean that you'd be able to sell your house in its current condition with old worn out carpets and like outdated paint colors doesn't mean you'd be able to sell that for 255,000. Buyers will pay a premium for a move-in ready home. It could be a situation where if you sell it as is, you could be looking at a sale price at 250 or below, but if maybe you spend that $5,000 and do the flooring, do the painting, do some minor little refreshes here and there, that then you're able to get the 260. Especially with things like paint and carpet or flooring, these usually have a positive return on the money that you spend. As far as picking out the the right colors, rely on me for that. I know what's on trend. I know what buyers are into right now and that's gonna appeal to the masses. This way you won't have to worry about picking a color that most buyers don't like.